in the last video we developed the framework for the lagged income determination model and in this video we will do the numerical for it we should be based on that let us see how we can do this in addition to the symbolic determination of income determination model with time lags we can solve it numerically as well so we have done the symbolic way now we are going to do the numerical way in this video this is the expenditure method of uh, national income determination where two sectors are involved the consumer and the producer side consumer is represented with this consumption function where we have a lagged dependence of it on national income and income of the last time period determines the current consumption and the investment is autonomous in nature that is 100 doesn't depend upon income and this is the initial conditions numerical value that is 4500 the MPC is already uh, informed about here and it is 0 0.9 and definitely it should be between 0 and 1 and then we have to substitute these values in the box we have consumption function this is C0 this is MPC this is the lag dependence national income variable this is IT it was autonomous in its numerical value was 100 it is mentioned and then we have the substitution and then s solution uh, these simple algebraic steps guide us that we will have 300 on the right hand side giving us the constant of the first order difference equations and we have the coefficient that is point minus point 0.9 here we can also do a small tweak here to make it adjacent to the uh, standard form of the first order difference equations that is by introducing plus one here in the subscript as well as in the other variable that is we have this term and 300 will remain as it is so now it is comparable with the standard form and here we have used the other version of it by pushing the subscripts back by one time period which is also acceptable however this is the standard form that we are trying to use here for the sake of comparison is equal to C now this is a and uh, we have extracted its value by comparison here it's minus 0 0.9 which is definitely not equal to minus 1 so this formula is applicable here so we can readily apply this formula that we have done here the value of C the value of A and then value of B is equal to minus A the C value A value all of these values are substituted one by one and when we do we get this uh, final answer after the simplification process this is the time path of the national income with the lagged dependence in this case so we can interpret it as we usually interpret the time path of a first order difference equation this is the time path and this is the given equation that we had and we developed it actually f by using the expenditure approach of national income and this is the expression on which the dependence will take place of the um, dynamic stability uh, we know that we have to consider the actual value of the uh, parameter a and the absolute value of parameter b in both of the cases these are the values of b not a and we will consider these values to find out the pattern and the nature so the absolute value is less than one so it would be convergent and this is the um, actual value and it shows that it is non-negative so it is a non-oscillatory time path so both of these things are now cleared and we have to compare them with one and zero that we have just done and now this is a very elaborated way of writing the time path whole of it is the deviation deviation will approach to zero when time approaches to infinity and this is the coefficient of the variable part or the exponential part which is likely to reach zero as the time passes 
and this is the final result that there is dynamic stability and convergence this is the equilibrium value that is 3000 now this is uh, plotted on a graph uh, here you will see that we have developed a graph on which y is plotted here and time is here you can see it is non oscillatory because it is above the equilibrium value and it is not uh, moving above and below it and it is also converging towards the equilibrium so it is fulfilling the requirement that we have for the dynamic stability so in this way we have conducted a numerical analysis with an economic example of the um, lagged uh, type of the version of the national income determination in a two sector economy and the mathematical tool that we used to make the uh, final result concrete was the first order difference equation thank you